I live and work in Belgium and I make videos on interracial lifestyle because I'm married to a Belgian uh, my plan was to take you guys with me on this uh, family vacation but things didn't go as I wanted because I had to leave behind almost all of my outfits and all of my luggages since my husband made a mistake while weighing our luggages we were each supposed to have uh, 20 kilos as our main luggage and 10 kilos as our hand luggage so while weighing our luggages the uh, instrument he was using was rated in pounds and kilograms he was focusing on the pounds so that's why he kept on saying oh you have so much you have so much it's above the luggage not for us to reach at the airport and then with my main luggage it was just nine kilos like i was pissed you know but yeah that said i'm gone on the positive side of things it was the first time for us traveling with our newborn he's three months old and it was amazing because noah was such a gem you know he was happy throughout the flight he didn't cry he didn't like he wasn't fuzzy at all also when traveling with a baby you get to benefit from the priority checking and uh, you get the, um, an attachable seat belt so your baby is also safe and you have an extra air mask for the baby and the flight attendants were just super sweet they all wanted to help asking about the baby helping me you know it was nice like I really had a good experience I definitely had a good experience traveling with the baby I think it was also because Noah's brother and sister were with us and they definitely did help so we got in, we arrived Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt around uh, 1 p.m. I'll say. And my advice to Europeans traveling to Egypt: definitely travel with your passport. If you take just your ID card, you will need to pay for a visa at the airport, which nobody tells you that, and that's like 150 euros, which is not worth it. So just travel with your passport, and you're safe. So we arrived at 1 p.m. and there was a shuttle that picked us up to the hotel and it was this lovely, lovely hotel. Huge, all-in hotel, everything inclusive and with sea view, it was amazing. So after checking out the hotels and settling in our rooms, of course, myself and my husband, we had our room, Noah's brother and sister, they had their own room. So we had to walk around in the hotel and the hotel had like five restaurants and five bars so we had to go check out the cocktails and all of that but you know it's a muslim country so yeah the alcohol so i can say it's nothing for me that was not a problem because i'm breastfeeding so i really didn't care much but yeah it was not worth it the wine and alcohol was Alias, especially if you're coming from Europe. <laughs> Will you tell me your experience so far? Yeah. Do you love this place? What do you think about the drinks? It's great. <laughs> it's great with his cap. Really? Kurt? Glass half full. What, what do you think about the drinks here? Oh, you mean? It's nice if you think they are fruit juices. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you miss the alcohol in them, right? Wow. Uh, no alcohol for me, so I don't have to worry. Those that love alcohol have some trouble because the alcohol is nothing. Day two, we are sitting and chilling at this side of the hotel, which is very, very beautiful. The sea is just over there. 
this is very thank you. I mean, it's so hot, but this one. It was so hot, the temperatures were ranging between 27 to 29 degrees Celsius at that time of the year. You know, you can imagine it was really warm. Yeah, myself and Noah just had to chill and keep ourselves busy while the rest of the family went to check on the snorkeling program. You know, your girl is uh, from Bamenda, you know, the English speaking part of Cameroon. And girls from there, I can't swim. <laughs> That's a bit of true. I cannot swim. So, how will I even there snorkeling? When I cannot swim, so while the rest of my family were snorkeling, I just had to chill by the poolside with Noah and uh, try to film. Yeah, I really plan to do like some outfit shoots, but yeah, all my clothes were left back in Belgium, so we just had to chill, enjoy the sun, and have some mocktails and some yeah tea. That was what I really did enjoy back there. Those people can make some good mint tea. And um, so yeah, apart from snorkeling in Sharma Sheikh, oh by the way, saying Sharma Sheikh is so difficult. Can somebody say that like five times? Can you say Sharma Sheikh, Sharma Sheikh, Sharma Sheikh? <laughs> yeah, I find that so difficult pronouncing. Anyway, apart from snorkeling, another thing that we planned to do was to visit the old market. So to visit the old market, the Soho Square, and a bit of the nightlife. And I must say the nightlife in Sharma Sheikh is really underestimated. I mean, you'll be surprised what they've got going on there. I did have fun though. So we visited um, the old town, the old market that has like this huge uh, mosque. Um, unfortunately for me, I wasn't allowed to get into the mosque because I was putting on, I had on the shorts and ladies are not allowed to get into the mosque to wear the shorts. They wanted me to dress, to wear like the hijab thing. And I was like, no, thank you. I'll stay outside. Yeah, but my husband and Elias did get into the mosque and you know, I just walked around, took some pictures of the beautiful old town square and it was really amazing and yeah that was it for the day and we, what else did we do, we just walked around and they have, I also bought some spices because they have like good African spices. I got some dried ginger, some dried cayenne. Did you do the paintings yourself? Let me do some publicity for you. Did you do it yourself? Did you paint all of these? Yeah. Really? Really? It's a video. video or photo. It's a video. Why? Hello. Hey. Hello my fans. Yeah. <laughs> enjoyed his two seconds of fame on my youtube channel so at this point in time we're getting hungry and we're looking contemplating having some fish but it wasn't fresh so like i told you we ended up at this shisha bar where they let me play my own music from my phone and i did enjoy myself the shisha was good i mean i had a moment of you know um, <laughs> That name is so difficult yeah, to pronounce, guys. <laughs> like, I'm about to bite my tongue here. It's so beautiful here. So, quick change of outfit at the hotel. We're ready for dinner and the evening events at the hotel. So, at this hotel, every evening they have like different soirees, <laughs> different things they organize for the guests. And uh, yeah, so we were just walking around and I was like the only black girl there. You know, I was enjoying my celebrity time, you know, and my hair, it was just special. Everybody was looking at me and all. It was fun. And yeah, the pizza was so good, like really good. And the food, the vegetables, and really fresh, tasty meals. Honestly, I give the food at this hotel uh, 9 on 10 just because I cannot give 10 on 10 okay yeah and the, the guys were really friendly I made a lot of friends there they were super sweet towards me I don't know if they, it was just to me or with every other person but they were really sweet and friendly 
had a great time there. Shout out to Ahmed, Mohamed, Am, and you know, all the lovely people at this hotel. <laughs> The guys were always ready and willing to film and help me take a picture, you know, like they were super friendly. Oh, and another thing that struck me in uh, Sharma Sheikh is at the hotels and at the airport, you don't see any ladies. They're all males working. Like I didn't see any lady at the, the, my whole time at the hotel. Only when we went to the spa for our massage, there, there were some ladies working there. But apparently, yeah, it's still a thing that our ladies stay at home and take care of the family. They don't have to work. But yeah, which is also good. So we are now on day three of our vacation. It was my husband's birthday. We did get the, a cake and a champagne from the hotel. And we, what we did with, we, uh, we reserved a massage. So we both had a massage session, and uh, which was nice, and some body treatments and stuff like that. Yeah, it was good. I really did enjoy it. And in the evening, we had a family dinner, which was also good. And they went snorkeling and diving again while myself and Noah just chilled around. And took our pictures as usual. Yeah, and in the evening, we then went for a family dinner, so we decided to do one of the restaurants in the hotel. Like I said, the hotel has five different restaurants, and uh, there's a general one where you have the we you have the buffet and all of that. So on my husband's birthday, we decided to try the Lebanese restaurant, and it was quite good. We enjoyed it. But the boy, what do you have to say? <laughs> are you enjoying your birthday meal? <laughs> what are we having? Lebanese Lebanese food in Egypt Is it hoodie? Is it hoodie? Or is it smart look? <laughs> is it hoodie or is it smart look? It's a dollar bit to pick up there as well there's um, a very there's a picture behind you uh, Egyptian culture? This is Egyptian for color. What? Egyptian? Yeah. Benzene. Huh. Uh, Egyptian for color. Egyptian. Hey! Yeah. Hey, Olaya. Huh? What happened with you? Mm. Sad. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> They're giving us a taste on the, <laughs> on the Egyptian culture. They want me to try that. I have just addressed them. If I had my trousers and my jeans or something, I should have tried this. Ooh. Every evening there's a show and an event. Plan for us, that's the restaurant. Who wants me to make that? Quite the rest of the family is out again for their diving and snorkeling course. Myself and Noah just had to chill around at the hotel and take our pictures, do some Snapchat and all of that. Yeah. 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 Oh my. <laughs> you love the good life, baby. You love it. <laughs> You love it. Say hi. Hi. It's a video or what? It's a video. 
No, it's too long. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you know what I normally have, right? What do I normally have? Money uh, half. What do I normally drink? Yeah, I know. What is that? No, what comes ice? <laughs> yeah, you know me well. <laughs> Definitely gonna have some pizza soon. especially if you don't buy organic so i use this as an opportunity to indulge in the tasty fruits i mean the tomatoes were so mm, thinking uh, talking about it now my mouth is getting watery just from thinking about how tasty it was you know and the food i ate a lot of lentils and a lot of beans you know which are great in fiber and a lot of chickpeas also so i really enjoyed myself i We did have a walk along the Soho Street where there are lots of shisha bars and lots of cafes and restaurants so and that's where the real nightlife in Sharon Moshe happens. So definitely check out Soho Square if you if you want to enjoy the nightlife in Sharon Moshe. Anyway guys I'm gonna stop here. I really didn't want this video to be long so I try my best to keep it under 20 minutes and if you love this video and if you love interracial lifestyle videos definitely subscribe to my channel everything interracial and definitely check me on instagram hope to see you next time bye love you all and definitely share and subscribe okay